Hi class, 638, Education 638, and uh, Dr. Holder, I am Paul Roach, um, and I reside in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where I was born and raised, and uh, I spent about eight years in York, Pennsylvania, where my wife Cheryl and I have, my late wife Cheryl and I have raised or began her family. Um, I also attended college there. I went to York College of Pennsylvania from 1986 to 1988, and I studied in respiratory therapy. Uh, we eventually came back to the Scranton area when my youngest was born. His name is Nathan, and his two siblings are Kristen and Stephen, Paul Stephen. He is named after me, but we call him Stephen and me, Paul, and um, just to avoid some confusion, and it really did kind of help most of the time, at least, uh, as he grew up. Uh, currently, I am... Um, Pursuing my degree in uh, education and learning and technology online instruction. Um, I'm enjoying every minute of it. I have um, had some great experiences with uh, classmates and projects that we have worked on together. And um, I'm looking forward to um, the, our projects up ahead today. Uh, today, I think I connected with one of my classmates that I've had in uh, previous classes, or actually two. Um, so we may begin to work on a project in this course, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I would like to eventually go on for my uh, doctorate, but um, my next step will be to go on for my education specialist in curriculum and instruction. Um, well, let me see. What else can we talk about with me? Um, I, I've got to include some things. I'm currently not employed, and uh, I think that being that this is my last course towards my master's degree, I'm going to be a little bit more open about personal things regarding why I have such a passion for education. Um, so, right now, I per I'm not employed. I am uh, currently uh, in between jobs using my time effectively with uh, my classes, spending time with my grandson, um, and searching for employment. These all, all keep me very busy. Throughout my career, I actually did work at a very busy hospital. Um, I've worked in respiratory therapy about 30 years. I know, that's a long time. Um, anyway, Throughout my career, I have always considered myself an allied health professional uh, because I, being that I am inquisitive, I've always asked other disciplines their insights towards patient care. Um, I've learned so much and um, I appreciate what I have learned. I think it has made me a good part of the team when it comes to um, you know, uh, knowing my role, but also what other things impact the patient, and it helped me to give uh, good feedback to the doctors and nurses and helped communicate very well, but it also helped me to be a good educator. Many of my students had told me that um, I should go on to education full time. My passion to make a change is focused in educating students with balance between technology and critical thinking without too much cognitive overload. And you will read in my, um, my insert here that uh, much of that comes from having been involved with uh, the medical field on a personal end and um, now at the time that I'm unemployed, you, you can see in my insert that it's a very difficult time, yet at the same time, I know who's holding me. I know that God is with me, and he will light the way. Uh, one of my favorite scriptures, at least at this time, it comes from uh, Habakkuk 3.19. The Lord is my strength, and he has made my feet like hinds feet and makes me walk on my high places. So, what I'd like to say is being in between jobs is not so bad if you're making your time constructive. Thank you very much for listening, and I look forward to uh, getting to know you throughout this course.